Oh my goodness, I had to clean the bathroom this morning because TMI, we're tearing up the bathroom. Aha! Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on our couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you can find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. It is day 28 of the beef butter bacon and egg challenge. Sorry for the overshare. That's but okay. Yeah, like. Eating all the meat and fat. People ask us all the time, are you having any bathroom problems? Like nope. constipation? No. 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 <laughs> Everything is working just right. So it is Saturday morning. We're going to head on over. It started about 10 minutes ago. Open up the booth. We want to talk to some of the different vendors. Uh, Ice Chips is here. Yeah. Which those things are amazing. So good. We're going to get a bunch of different flavors. And when beef butter bacon and egg is over, we're going to do a, a flavor test of all. Because we've only tried a couple of them. Right. I love those things. But we don't ever buy them because we eat the entire tin in one day. Yes, so we, we need to pace ourselves. We need to pace ourselves. They even have one that maybe we'll get one and add into a camp keto camping fear factor. Uh -huh. They have black licorice. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no, So we're Why? gonna get a bunch of them. Um, Why do they have that flavor? We, I don't know, but we really like ice chips. And so we're gonna talk to them about maybe getting a discount coupon or something like that. Ask them if they have anything. Yeah. Uh, but there's a barbecue sauce over there that is <sighs> literally the cleanest barbecue sauce I have ever seen I on keto. I thought you're about to say that ice chips has a barbecue sauce flavor. Oh no, <laughs> no. But yeah, I'm excited about different barbecue sauces. So there's a, unfortunately we can't try anything and that is making beef butter, bacon and egg. Very challenging. Very challenging while we're here. I wish we would have paused it, but I'm glad it's, it's like that catch 22, you know, damned if you do, damned if you don't. We're don't, we're not going to go home regretful. Right. So had we paused it, I probably would have overdone it. And then I also wouldn't be able to enjoy the delicious barbecue that we're eating. Yeah. But at the same point, I really would like to try some of these things. So what we're going to do is we're going to blindly buy some of this stuff <laughs> and bring it home. Hope for the best. And hope for the best and do reviews of it like the Kiho bars that we've never tried before. What did you here. call me? <laughs> Kiho? <laughs> Your mind is always going there. Always. Always going there. So yeah, we're going to do that. And then uh, other than that. It's been really interesting. What's now, going on here? So I went to 7-Eleven. No, I did not get a soda. I went to 7-Eleven and got coffee. There's a 7-Eleven right next door. And uh, they were out of pumpkin spice. Again, two days in a row, no it pumpkin spice. It has a spice. bright neon sign. That is what Glittery. is so Glittery, yeah. It looks like hilarious. something on Broadway. Everything. Yeah. Everything has a glitter sign. So I was looking over and I'm looking like, I really would like a seltzer water. Because I have been drinking seltzer water. Not sugared or anything. Just mm -hmm. like seltzer water. And I've been drinking seltzer water while we've been on key, on the beef, butter, bacon, and egg. And I'm like, I really want one. I'm going through the whole cooler and there's not one can. They're not selling any kind of seltzer water. And I'm used to by us, they all have all of the different right. bubblies and you'll see the, what is the other one that, you know, all the different brands, Here, Waterloo. All of the, the Walgreens and the CVSs and 7-Elevens, everywhere where you'd have like a cooler for a drink is filled with hangover recovery concoctions. Yes. Not surprising. Yeah. So I'm looking through the cool, and I'm like, they don't even have bottles of soda, which I really thought was weird. It's like, because I'm used to ours, again, having all these coolers of stuff. And I look over at the soda machine, I'm like, not a chance. Because the one thing that I do do occasionally on beef, butter, bacon, and egg is when Anthony and I go to Wawa, I've got my big cup, and if I want that little bit of a bubble, mm -hmm. our Wawa has seltzer water. They have club soda, and they have AHA. And I'm like, there's uh -huh. not a chance that they're going to have it here in this little tiny 7-Eleven. It's only got like seven things in a fountain. 
and I look over and it's show enough. Aha. They do. So I got myself an aha That's because a treat. their bottled water is expensive. It's like three dollars and fifty cents a bottle in there. Yeah. So this is really nice. Mm -hmm. So um not sure what's on the meal plan for today. We're thinking about possibly going back to that uh Brazilian steakhouse. I am not we don't even, like the same places, but I am not even remotely hungry right now. Really? Like not even I feel We're like so opposite. I just got up from the table last night. Like I feel completely full and satisfied. We are so opposite. So I am hungry. I'm ready to eat. But one of the reasons that is is see Rachel can sit down and and at a meal and you see it. She, I mean, horse and when rider. I stopped eating last night, she went on for like a thirty-five or forty minutes. Because I'm not a quitter. You're not. A, <laughs> I just give up. The hardest part is flipping that card for me. I just, I, I just, I can't eat a lot in a sitting. Right. But I do want to eat like several hours later. So I'm ready to eat, well, but I didn't eat okay. as much as you last that's, night. That's totally true, and it is okay. And I'm starting to get the message. We are different. Right. This BBB and E challenge. We didn't realize it was going to be like marital help. Right. But yeah, we can eat at different times. Mm -hmm. That's okay. We can eat at different amounts. Right. Which is completely fine too. That's been a huge barrier for us because it was always like we have to eat equal amounts. So if we go out to lunch and I'm not hungry, I can enjoy a water and a conversation right. and you eat. It's right. okay to do that. Yeah, and at home, if I wanna eat a couple of times a day and Rachel doesn't, it's perfectly fine. Yeah. Because the food is there and we always meal prep something like, or we'll have like the meat sticks or sausage or something. It's just a little bit more difficult here because you have to go out to eat for everything. Right. And we're finding for us at least, the best value is just going to be going to the Brazilian steakhouse or going back to that fat burger because everywhere else, again, like I was so disappointed with Buffalo Wild Wings. Buffalo Wild Wings is great for wings, but if you're going to go over there for a burger and you're going to throw out the bread and throw out the lettuce yeah. and throw out the tomato and throw out the pickles and throw out all of that and the cheese. You're still paying a premium price. You're paying price. a price for that burger, but you're not getting anything that comes with a burger and you're just hungry more but again if they are a chicken wings place if they give you a hamburger option it's like that's a blessing that's right. that's like going to a seafood place mm -hmm. and and expecting that they have a land lover menu well you're going to pay way more for a hamburger at a seafood place and it's not going to be great why because that's not what they're known for yeah now one thing i am learning because this was a big concern of mine heading here was is it going to be possible and I am finding it is possible, and this this place is expensive to eat. Yeah. Like, I was not expecting the high cost, because the last time I was in Vegas, there were, like, still five ninety nine buffets. Yeah, and, and that they is... they just don't exist anymore. The only... And certainly not something we can eat. The only thing that I have seen, because I think it is part of their funny deal, is 99 shrimp cocktail. 99 right. cent shrimp cocktail. Same as it was for 70... Since 1976. Which I'm like, I can't even imagine what, what that is. What are those Ma shrimp? I'm thinking, in my mind, I'm thinking it's probably those little shrimp cock, like the, the ones that come in a can, you know, like a salad shrimp. Because, or if it's a regular size shrimp, Lord knows when that thing was actually living on earth still. Well, we need to head over there because. You gotta pee? I gotta pee. I just don't understand the whole pool. It's like really <laughs> low. The pool's only open on the weekends. The other one seems to like have less water in it. I know. And you have to pay $37 a day resort fee and can't use the pool. Well, just hold it off what your pool going until Saturday night. But this is Saturday. So Kai is my 11 year old daughter and she started baking with my husband's the cook in our house. So she started baking with my husband and we started doing pop-ups farmers markets. And in the beginning I thought it was crazy because I'm a nurse practitioner and I'm a military nurse practitioner. So oh, wow. we actually don't have time, or at the time I thought that we didn't have time to start a side business. So I had a friend that owned a beauty shop and she said Makai could come up and sell her cookies. And so I was like, after the first time she'll see it's a lot of work. Well, fast forward six years later, we're still here. 
And what happened, we were selling traditional cookies and my husband started the keto diet in August of 18. And after the farmer's market, we always treat ourselves with eating the leftover products. Yes. So my husband, we came home like four weeks straight. My husband wasn't eating any of the cookies. And she's like, Dad, is there anything that you can have? Is there anything called keto cookies? How sweet is this girl? Um, and she's amazing. And so then what happened was they started looking up recipes coming up. And then so he started making keto cookies. And so what we would do is we would take one traditional cookie away and bring a keto cookie. And then over time, the keto just took over. And so now and we, we're no longer a traditional bakery. Wow. And and we are a strictly a keto bakery. This is amazing. Yes. And so we started in a commercial kitchen and COVID hit and the commercial kitchen shut down. However, Kai opened her first flagship retail 11. location in, no. the midst, in the midst of COVID. She's how old? She's 11. And so right now she's still at home running the bakery and we're here with her promoting and growing in her business. Oh and my gracious. Yes. She is. I'm one proud mama. You should be. What in So first of all, that's so funny. So we have three boys, mm -hmm. and I know that mentality where you're like, just let them do it because they'll burn out their energy on the first attempt, yes, and, and then and then we won't be you know with us anymore. And I didn't shut them down. Yes. Right. right. Not Kai. Not Kai. Okay. Not Kai. So how can we get? So we're gonna bring some home, okay. and we will do a full review. A full review at the end of the month when we're allowed to, I was telling her we're doing yes. beef bacon tonight so we can't eat anything right cry. now. Um, so we're gonna do a full review video in, in November, but if they want them, how do we yeah. get them? So we do ship. You can go to kaisbaking.com and order online and we do ship. Wow. And I'm looking behind you, you have mixes too? So starting we in January, we are going with a whole different line. We're adding uh, keto mixes to our website. To an 11 year old's company. Yes, to an 11-year-old girl boss. Now, this video is going to go up tomorrow. Wow. Is there any kind of a discount or anything that you're if offering for the, the show, show that they can get, or it's only if they're here? Nope. We're going to extend the discount on our website starting tomorrow when this one ends, and you can get all four flavors here for $40, the same deal that we're ordering here, and there will be a link to that on our website and on our social media at kaisbaking.com. Okay, because this video will go up tomorrow, so they'll be able to... And what is go that? right there so that is a rookie it is a chocolate chip cookie that is a half brownie half chocolate okay chip i want that and i'm done with beef butter bacon and got that one and so this is for those people that is hard to decide i can't it decide is. if i want a brownie or yes. a chocolate chip cookie you get both the, i so, love that because yes. that you know you you do this and then you know you order one mm -hmm. and then the other person orders the different one and, and you you're sitting there yep. looking at them going like man i wish i had that yep. So what, Where are you all located? We are in Houston, Texas. Awesome. Now, what is your particular favorite? My particular favorite is the Nothing But Joy. I love coconut. Wow. And so this one um, has almond, coconut, and chocolate chip. This is one of our signature cookies that, you know, everyone, you can always get a classic chocolate chip. Yes. You can always get a snickerdoodle. But, but we wanted to bring something where you think outside the box, and this one was it. Oh, my gosh. That is amazing. That's going to be Joe's. I can just tell you right now, because all of those things with the coconut in it, yes. that's, you really like that. And I'm not a snickerdoodle fan. And I, and I But I think this is a safe bet, too. Yeah. This is the, the brookie, because you're going to have the brownie, and you're going to have the cookie. And this is perfect in time for the holidays. Exactly. Mike, have you, we can't eat these. Are they any good? They are really good. <laughs> like I should buy four bags blindly? Uh, yes. I can't eat them until next Absolutely. month. Absolutely. You should definitely buy them. Wow. Tell us how you got this barbecue sauce company started. You know, it's a long story, but our, our kids, our sons are best friends since first grade. They're oh, now nice. nine. So that's how she and I met through our boys. And my son having, a, he's autistic, I'm diabetic, <laughs> there's cancer in the family. It was just like, we wanted a cleaner diet for our kids. That's wonderful. And it just didn't have to be clean, it had to be delicious because, you yes. know, kids are so picky. My we don't want to eat cardboard. No, it has to have flavor. So our first bottle, which was the Oso Sweet, it took us a year to formulate it with uh, her husband. We actually have a secret weapon. So yeah. my husband is a trained butcher. He's been smoking meats in the backyard for years, doing barbecue sauces. So when yeah. we were brainstorming, like what's a good product we could come up with, something that would make the ketogenic diet more sustainable, he helped us out. So he's developed all of our recipes, and then we're kind of the magic behind it, trying to get the business going and getting out the Passionate. community. And 
that's so, amazing. Because yeah. getting the word out, it, it that's that's challenging. It is. You yeah. know you have something amazing, yes. but you're just trying to get it. Are you in stores yet, or we can only buy it online right now? We're in stores in California. Wow! In 14 stores, and we're also on Amazon Prime, so free shipping. And we're nice. Amazon Prime, we're on Walmart Marketplace, we have our own website. But our next big goal is to get into distribution and go nationwide in all the stores. So yes. hopefully we'll get there with everyone's support. Well, and it's and it's great if we we've, we've learned, you know, ourselves. If you ask your local grocery store, hey, I don't know if you've checked out Keto Primo yet, but you need to. Yes. I would love yes. to have that in the stores. And we've seen, you know, other companies. That's how be, Rebel Creamery got into public. Yes. Yeah, really. Because yes. you know people have requested. So you don't realize how much power you have as a, a customer. Yes. So make sure you're asking for this because that is a challenge a lot of times we settle for a barbecue sauce right. like in the good enough category yeah. because it is sugar-free but sugar-free does not necessarily mean, mean that it's good right. or that yes. it's going to um, propel your health goals it could be very inflammatory actually FEMA, some of these are some of the cleanest ingredients yes. I've seen in a barbecue certified sauce. ketogenic which that, means yeah. it's in the therapeutic level that was our whole goal because we're not a weight loss focused company I mean it's a great benefit but we were about improving health. So one of our slogans is every ingredient is selected with purpose for health wow. benefits. So it's a premium product. It features pink Himalayan sea salt, the monk fruit sweetener, um, known apple as an anti-inflammatory. Yeah, apple cider and um, apple cider vinegar, also an anti-inflammatory. So yeah, so, so, proud of it. so real quickly, let me just tell you, you've got tomato paste, water, apple cider vinegar, monk fruit sweetener, butter, distilled white vinegar, pink Himalayan salt, hickory smoke flavoring, spices, dehydrated onion. That's, That's it. it. All That's natural. It. It's Keep all it flavor. Now you have a website. You're having Five a show special. Months. Is that special continuing? Like this video is going to be up tomorrow. Yes, we it's, do. We so if somebody a, wants to order it. There's a bundle on our website. So when you buy the three pack, you'll always get the best price. We have that same pricing on Amazon right now and our website. It's a mix and match bundle. So is this blow your face off hot? Oh, this it's has, delicious. This has some I heat. want to try this right now. I can't. Double the heat. Double the heat. Double people the heat. actually love it, though. Some people are afraid to try it. I'm a hot it, person. But once so they do, they love, love it. it. And yeah. then you've got keep it simple. And Just is that, is this. Your deliciousness. Is this like getting you started? This is uh, ketchup. You can use it with eggs. You can use it with your hamburgers. Anything. It's what our kids love. So our kids used to put everything in ketchup. Yes. This tastes like the ketchup you grew up with. It has the same flavor profile, the same level of sweetness. A lot of the natural ones our kids will eat. And we thought, if we're going to do this, let's make something everybody loves. Exactly. I love that you've indicated. So we've got a green light. This is probably every everybody could eat. Then we're, we're moving up a little bit. You got yellow. So proceed with caution by the time you get to the red light oh then you know okay Smoking i probably hot. you know only not everybody may be able to handle it but but if you're if you're extra like you you probably want to give this a you're try you're gonna love it if you're extra so yeah. thank That's, you so much for bringing just a quality product to the marketplace um, it's our pleasure we're so passionate about it we're so grateful for you coming over and talking to us oh yeah sharing it it's just such we, a powerful thing to feel that support and there's something different that happens when somebody is making it for themselves versus yeah. hey i heard keto is very popular and i'm going to make a product to sell to right. that popularity right. yeah so exactly. you, yeah. you you really get the it, it's different it's just yeah different. we don't see it as a trend it's a lifestyle and it's preventing and improving so many health conditions for people yeah. so we're in it for the long haul that's yeah. awesome right. we've been laughing of keho is that how you say it? We're it saying is. it wrong? Okay. It All means right. a living human body in Finnish because life is better lived. I love that. So you have, I mean, we're used to bars in the yes. keto space, but this isn't sweet bars. These are savory bars. Can you right. tell us a little bit about your product? So most bars are an almond butter and then they have a fake flavoring. Mm -hmm. So they have like a mint choc chip or a berry. There's been no one near a mint choc chip or a berry. Right. So the flavor from those is in the, in the flavorings. Yeah. These are actually real food. Wow. And the flavor comes from the ingredients. So they're actually like a taco without the shell or a pizza without the base or a Thai without the noodle or a curry without the rice. And they all have a nut-based protein and then freeze-dried vegetables, which makes them massively nutrient-dense because you take a mushroom and you go, and it retains all of its nutrients because it stops the degradation. Wow. And then they're rehydrated with good oils. Avocado oil, extra virgin olive, coconut oil, 
and real herbs and spices, nothing fake. Where did you come up with this idea? So, cheesy as it is, it was actually on a meditation retreat. But it came out of the fact that I went keto and I don't eat meat. Um, okay. I haven't eaten red meat since 95. And it was really hard to snack. And I also suck at cooking and I didn't want to eat the snacks that have the fake sugars and sugar alcohols. Uh -huh. So it's real food where I counted every macro. I was insane in those days and squished it together and it's what I ate and it grew out of that. So. Wow. Well, and that that's where we usually find the best keto products. It's it's been done out of a necessity of the of the creator yep. to make something for themselves. Yep. It's when you're outside of it that a company's like, "Oh, I think keto is cool and popular right now. I'm going to make a product based on popularity." It's yeah, different no. when you're making it for yourself. And it's I do dumb things like they're all sulfide free. Like the coconut is sulfide free. The sun-dried tomatoes are sulfide free. I must remember to write down the fact. Your average person, unless they're keto obsessed, they won't know. Like they won't know. So wow. So this is something that you could absolutely put in your child's lunchbox. They're going to enjoy it. It's not going to make them the untradeable lunch kid at the table. So not this one because it has peanuts in it. Okay. <laughs> so and the and the names are so fun. So we have four flavors, right? Time me over. Pizza to go. Tex-Mex moment and curry in a hurry is like adorable. So fun. But yeah, I get a lot of moms, keto moms, who give them to their kids. Weirdly, a lot of kids like the olive one because I never thought of kids as like olive fans. Yes. But yeah, they made school essentially. So one day we'll have keto school lunches and then absolutely. So do you have a show special going on right now? I this do. video is going to go up tomorrow. I so is there a special thing you can get it online? So it is Las Vegas underscore Keto Expo. Las Vegas underscore Keto Expo, Expo gets you 20% off. I haven't put a limit on it. Okay. Just share it with your friends and come to the website and check it out. And so what we're going to do is, since we can't have them until November, you're going to send us some. We're going to do a full review in November, I would right? I love that. Yeah. So we're excited exciting. about it, especially those two flavors right there. Yes. Can I'm we find take you some. in stores just now? So I am online at Kehoe.life. We're on Amazon in two days time. Oh, that's exciting. I'm very nervous about it. And then we actually launched in uh, LA with a store called Gelson's. You know Gelson's? Nice. Which is a 30 store Whole Foods kind of a place. So we're, what we're trying to do is not just sell to keto people, but yes. to sell to normal people. Right. With a keto being like the secret on the background. Yes. Sneak it in because whether they're keto or not, they're gonna enjoy this product. We're trying to get people to swap sugar for spice. Oh, I love that. I love that. Thank you so much. Thank really you. We are over here talking to, let me get your name, Charlotte, Charlotte and, Bob. and Bob from Ice Chips. And this is my first time meeting you, but you and, and your product and I are old friends because oh, I awesome. absolutely love it. And we were blown away at the flavor that you're able to concentrate <laughs> in these little How ice did you chips. come up with, did you design them? Well, my business partner and I um, learned about xylitol and how good it is for teeth. So we, between us right now, we have 46 grandkids. Oh my so gracious. we wanted healthy candy for them, so we started buying xylitol candy, xylitol mints, and they were all pressed and, and regular. And they tasted awful, and we knew that kids aren't gonna eat it. No. So we decided, so we have to do this ourselves. So as, as, as usual, yes. Yes. Yes is the answer. Yes. So we bought a 10 pound bag of xylitol. We have another body care company where we were already using essential oils. So our first uh, flavors were lemon and peppermint and spearmint because we had those. Yes, and, and they're awesome, P.S. We had already started a home party plan with our other products, so we threw those in and they started selling like hotcakes. So within just a couple weeks, we knew we had a hot ticket. Yeah. So the line just expanded and we've been on Shark Tank and you know, it's just been fun. It's amazing and they really are a very nice breath mint. 
and it, like the, the the winter green, like the the spearmint type of flavors, which we've really been missing. And I'm yes. always around people, and you are conscious of like, you know what I mean? Am I offending people right yes. now? And we talk about keto breath. Oh, and what's offensive is sugar breath after a sugary alcohol. Yes, yeah. yes. It's like in the moment you're okay. You basically knock the person out with yeah. the altoid, <laughs> yes, and then when did. they wake up, then then you're like, wow, your, your breath really stinks. So now you have so many flavors, it's incredible. So what are some of the ones that are that are new this year? Uh, we don't have any new this year. In the last couple of years, we've come out with salted caramel, chocolate brownie, and before that, we added sour apple and sour cherry. The sour apple is awesome. Did like, you check out her earrings? Yeah, I know, they're so adorable. <laughs> I love earrings. Thank you. So, um, what what goes into planning like the next flavor? What are, how are you coming up with one like a salted caramel mint? Well, we had an eggnog flavor that people loved, but every time we taste it, it's like, you know, that's so on the edge of being a caramel. Why don't we go salted caramel? And so we took eggnog off the table, mm -hmm. turned it into salted caramel, and sales went way up because salted caramel, you know, everybody loves salted caramel. Everybody loves salt. And how many flavor varieties do you have? Right now we have 21, and we're not working on any new flavors. Wow. For a while. Well, for 21 flavors, if they don't, if you, if, if they don't have it, you don't need it. Exactly. Right? Like, that's a yeah. lot. So I, we, we can't have them until November, but I, know, I bought almost every flavor. The only flavors that I did not buy for our video is the ginger, the pumpkin, and the cranberry. <laughs> yeah. I didn't buy any of those. But the other ones you did. Yeah, because I we, just can't think about a pumpkin candy. We found you in a keto crate. Yes. It's how yes. we first found you. And so you're you're thinking that's the only flavors. Right. But it's not. Clearly, there's a ton of flavors. What tends to be more popular, mint, the, the, the sweet, or the sour? Well, what's really funny is lemon and peppermint battle it out for first place all the time and lemon's been winning but then right after that the most the, we had basically. the lemon the lemon was it's really so refreshing good. it is and see that's a lemon essential oil in there mm -hmm. and that's a peppermint essential oil in there but then it's berry cinnamon. sour cherry cinnamon licorice root beer those are the top so we were looking around on the website i did not use to know you sell them in the individual bags too we have pouches, one ounce pouches that came in the keto crate. Right. Because shipping is so expensive, we couldn't we couldn't do the tins for keto crate. Yeah. So we had the one ounce pouches. Okay, and then there was another product that I don't see here that really like kind of piqued our interest is your toothpaste powder. Oh, yes. yes. What is that? So can you tell us about that? Okay, the toothpaste powder is an actual ice chips product. Um, to go with this, uh, again, we're totally into natural stuff. So the tooth powder has Himalayan salt, baking soda, um, xylitol, sage for whitening teeth, myrrh for the gums, bloodroot for the gums. We're going to need to order some of that and try yeah, that. because oh, yes. it's all working. Let me see what I have here that talks about uh, myrrh, sage, Himalayan salt. Okay, I got all the ingredients. Sometimes Good I have to check myself. That's amazing. And then it has essential oils of orange, peppermint, spearmint, and wintergreen. So it's very cleansing, it's very building, it's bacteria. And, and have you tried, you haven't tried this? I no, have never we have even not. Heard we didn't even know we about here. it. And this we're always true. concerned about what's in toothpaste. Like we use the Redmond Earth Paste, oh, but some people don't like that because there's no sweetness to it. Oh, right. Yeah, this is fun. This is very minty, very sweet. Uh, the thing about it, it just in the manufacture of it, when we put it together, it goes together beige. Right. But then, after it sits in the jar for a couple weeks, it's amethyst purple when you get it. And that's the mixture of the green sage and the pink Himalayan salt. It's just pretty purple. We will have, is that available on the website now? Uh, yes. It's not on the website. Yes, it is. Well, that's how we found yes, it, it, was we saw oh, it on the website. It is, and it's wonderful. You have to get out of your head when it comes to toothpaste, because first of all, you're not going to have like the bubbling over necessarily, no, no, no. and it's not going to be like a fluorescent green color because all of those are the additives that are not natural and exactly. not needed. So it's the same thing as we talk about where you don't need like a caramel coloring 
it in a drink to make it look like it's supposed to. Like this is just, it's doing the job it's supposed to do, but in yeah. a delicious way, which like, is nice. Like black licorice is white. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, in fact, our business, our business partner and her husband and my husband both said, I will never use that tooth powder over my dead body. Right. Well, we took the toothpaste away oh. and gave them only that. And after a week, they were believers, and they will never. They can't. We have stand to order that. The Isn't that amazing? Yeah. It just takes time. Like, let's yeah. open our minds to trying something new. Yeah. Because that yeah. this is wonderful. But thank you so much for such a wonderful. So you're product. available on Amazon, right? Uh, yes, it's through a different uh, company. It's called the Goody Shop. Okay. Sorry. There, there, there are Amazon third-party sellers. Okay, so. and then we have a link down below for it and I know you're having a show special how long is that show special if somebody this is gonna come month. out tomorrow yeah to the end of the month and so oh, nice. if, through the end of the month they can get how much off 10% it's off a little of bit more keto. than 10% yeah okay yeah. and then you have free shipping yes free we shipping. do Yep. Free shipping. Which is incredible because a lot of times when there is like a coupon code, it's really just covering the shipping. So this is the shipping is included and yes. you're getting a yeah. discount. So Keep this in is, mind, this is the best Christmas stocking gift I was going to say, this I'm, is a perfect I'm stocking. I'm so glad you're here. Because yeah. our son likes it yeah. too. Yeah. So this is, this is a really fun stocking stuffer. Okay, so dinner was so good last night. We, we brought back. back the whole group. Right. <laughs> we got Chris and Bronson, uh, Dave Felvin here, Greg is there, there's Dave Feldman, Steve is here, Girl Gone Keto is here, who else is here? Roy is here, Judith, Keto Judith, for the soul. Keto for the Soul, so yeah, it was just too good last night, we didn't bring it, this is the best Brazilian steakhouse we've ever been to. Oh, look at that. So amazing. Can you give that a spin for me? Yes, so we can get, is that oh. gorgeous? Look at that. Wow. No, no, no. Is you that want, a red card right there? It is. Oh my gosh! First time ever! First time ever! Wait, you haven't beat Chris yet. Chris is still on green. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I get to be the last person at the table to flip my card from green to red. And I would just like to thank everybody who made that possible. The cow that's been working so hard to be delicious and fatty. Like, I just really appreciate you, the bacon. Hey, thanks, Mr. Pig, for making it so delicious. And thank you for everybody today that ate something other than this meal and so helped to tap out before I was ready to turn it to red. So, yay! You won. I ate all the meats and the mostest amount of meats tonight. I'm so excited. We, I think there's two things that contributed to my win, though. Uh -huh. Okay, because there was some good competition at that table, right? Number one, I haven't eaten since yesterday. So I had a completely empty tummy and that was to my advantage. Also, because of B, B, B and E, I can't go to the salad bar. That's usually what trips me up every single time that I go up against like Chris or, or Bronson and try to eat. It's because I can't pass up on those fancy olives. Yeah. The fancy olives and the cheeses and the beautiful, even the smoked salmon that's on the salad bar. I just want to eat all of that and then and it takes me out of the competition. <laughs> but tonight was my night. Tonight was your night. You did good. Thank you. So I was just excited that everybody enjoyed it because you know you recommend a restaurant oh, and you yeah. get everybody who goes to a lot of Brazilian steakhouses and say, I think this is the best one. And, and then you're going, I really hope they agree with me. I thought so too, because I looked in that table and I was like, there's a lot of people that if they, if we didn't choose correctly are going to be super disappointed. This is not just one friend that's going to be disappointed, but like this entire table may be like, I don't see what you liked about this place. So when we were leaving and Bronson was like, that place was really good. I was like, oh, thank you Bronson for saying that because now I know we didn't lead anybody, you know, into a an unfortunate evening of, of dining. So I gotta tell you, I'm starting to get hungry again. Really? Yeah. You're you're somebody that likes to have something later on too. Like a you're you're a you're a doggy bag guy. I am I am definitely a doggy bag guy, and that's always how I've been going out to eat. Like as soon as the food shows up at my plate, you know, in front of me. I have always been like, can I have a take-home box? Right? You're I sort of mentally of dividing it. 
of like, this is what gets consumed here and this is what's going home? You know, I don't know what it comes from. I, it's again, it's a mental issue with food. It's one of my food issues where you talk about like, you know, I gotta know, I gotta know that I'm gonna have enough food now. Right. I need to know I have enough food later. Okay. So you gotta look at, like, I remember when we were dating and even before keto, we would go out to restaurants and we would get appetizers and it could have been wings or potato skins or anything. And we would, it would come and we would divide it equally. You get three and I get three or you get six and I get six. And I would immediately like take half of that and put it aside like that's my take home and half of my steak is my take home and i would be like oh it looks like there's three you're not going to eat can i have that right and i'm like no, no no that's that's my take home and it's the same thing at home whereas you can sit down and eat a 16 ounce prime rib yeah i can't i'm going to eat half of it and want to eat the other half in an hour now, some of that may be I'm not full yet. I want to eat later. Mm -hmm. But why do I want to eat later? And I'm starting to think of it, it comes back to Dr. Barry said we can eat as much as we want, as many times as we want. Because, we're, again, we're trying to get over our food issues. Right. But I can't get past the fact that you're not supposed to eat four steaks a day. Right? You're not supposed to eat three pounds of ground beef a day. So do you feel like if you cut the steak in half, like that second meal, you have permission? I'm not really cheating because I'm eating the amount of food that I should have. Instead yeah. of eating one meal, I'm taking one meal's worth of food and making it two meals. So now I don't have to feel bad for eating two meals. So I was wow. talking to someone today. They were trying to, they were trying, like, I need a simple way to figure out my macros. I'm like, give me a weight you want to be. And she was like 150 pounds. I'm like, okay, great. So 150 pounds, so you need 150 grams of protein and up to 150 grams of fat per day. So you want a real simple thing to eat? And she's like, what? Two pounds of ground beef a day. Boom. You're done. Eat two pounds of ground beef, nothing else. Two pounds of ground beef. She's like, that's a lot of food. But that's only 160 grams of protein. Right? That's Now you tell the average person, I'm going to eat two pounds of ground beef. You crazy. And they're like, you're crazy. That's only 2,000 calories, two pounds of ground beef Wow. pre-cooked. So what is that going to come out to be? If, so two pounds of ground beef pre-cooked is, um, is about 160 grams of protein per day. And it's about um, 180 grams of fat. But after you cook it, because you're going to lose some of that you're fat lose in the cooking it. process, you're going to end up, you're going to take the 32, the 32 ounces of protein of uh, ground beef that's going to break down to somewhere around 22 ounces of actual cooked meat mm -hmm. you're going to lose some of that fat you're going to end up with still 160 grams of protein and right. somewhere around 140 to 150 grams of fat up oh, bang one to one perfect so you can eat that in one meal which you probably could. I absolutely could. Or you can eat it over five meals. Which would be something more like you would do. Right. So my thing is, is though, if you gave me a pound of ground beef, I'm going to eat half now and half later so that I can have two meals instead of one. Okay. But that's going to fill me up. But for you, you are perfectly satiated eating a pound in a sitting and then not eating for several more hours. It's nice to know that we don't have to be the same. And that is something we were only just discovering in this last week, right? It's okay that it's we're okay different. It's okay that we're different. Yeah. Right? Because we're so used to, we have to eat the same amount at the same times. And what is that doing? It's causing more food issues. But eating as much as you want until you're comfortably full is different in by definition for me than it is for Joe. Right. And that's okay. Yeah. So before we finish this vlog up, I wanted to mention, because we're going to be on the road going tomorrow, Perfect Keto has a product. They actually developed it a while ago, and then there were some issues with supply chain. It's called Mallow Munch. Um, this is, we actually brought this just with us to show it to you guys. Yeah. So this is the box for the marshmallow flavor. There are three flavors. Definitely for somebody who likes Rice Krispie Treats. Mallow Munch. There is Mallow Munch peanut butter, and then there is Mallow Munch chocolate. So these are launching on Monday the 18th, which is if you're watching this on the day this video comes out, it's tomorrow. They're having a special launch sale. There is a link down below. If you use that link, I believe you get 25% off of your purchase. Uh, now we have tried these. We mentioned this on Keto on the Couch as They're well. They're really good. We have tried them. 
they're really good. We just can't eat them right we now. We can't eat them right now. And it's like, so have you ever gone to purchase a car or bought a new car and you never even noticed that car on the road? Like we bought a Volkswagen Tijuana last year. I never even noticed that car. Now it feels like everyone's driving you're it. You're right, you're driving, it's like, you think about, a, I remember with the Volkswagen Bug, when, when they redesigned it and came out with the newer design that you see on the road now, I was like, that's really cool. And all of a sudden you see them everywhere. Yeah. So same thing right now. We're on a challenge where we can't have anything other so, than beef, butter, bacon, So egg. everything delicious pops up. Right, like cookies from that really awesome family, the Kehoe bars, Mallow Munch, ice chips they all presented themselves to us today no 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 and we really did have to be like no and i give me a high five high five was proud that we did not break because i wanted those ice chips really i bad. i was really really proud of us we can do this hard, hard things we totally this was, demonstrated this was a it. challenge for this conference and and nothing was off limits it wasn't like we were going to eat non-keto things right it was and just we would have only had a taste it was just off our plan yeah. it was just off what we said we were going to do and how can we challenge other people to stick to their plans if we don't stick to ours was it easy no. no, of course not. But Again, it was possible. Ice chips. We eat an entire can in a sitting when we can. They're so you know? good. <laughs> They're so good. So here's the good news. If you do like ice chips, we've got a, uh, a coupon code, which mm -hmm. we said earlier. Uh, not a coupon code. We have a link. The link is down below. They have a special sale. I'll put the coupon down below for it. That is good through the end of the month to get a little bit over 10% off, he said. We also bought a can of every single flavor. Because including black licorice because there's so many we haven't tried and we are going to when this whole beef butter bacon egg is over we're going to do a video and taste every single one of the flavors including black licorice yeah i don't know why i'm doing black licorice but we're going to do black licorice glutton for punishment so let us know in the comment section how you guys are doing now just a reminder we are heading off to go camping with uh the folks from keto chow for Yay. a couple of days we are really excited because Rachel's, you've never been water skiing? I've never been water skiing and um, I've never been tent camping outside of Florida. It's gonna be cold at night. I mean, we're cold right now. I think this is gonna be really fun. So we're gonna head over and do that over on Lake Mead. I uh, didn't want to pass up the opportunity because, I mean, when's the next time we're going to go camping in Lake Mead? Like, we're, we're East Coast people. Right. This is a total privilege. So, it's like, jump at it. Yeah. So, because of that, though, we're not going to have any internet service. We won't be able to even call our family or anything. We, you know, so, no videos. So, you're going to get Keto on the Couch for Monday. Mm -hmm. That will upload. I think we have a video scheduled to upload for Tuesday, mm -hmm. and then we will get back to our vlogs releasing on when possibly Tuesday night, but it depends on what I can get edited on the plane. We have a five hour plane ride home, but I think we land like kind of like eight o'clock, nine o'clock. It's going to be too late to want a premiere. We'll see how it yeah. goes, but we're going to promise you we will definitely get back to giving you guys daily vlogs by Wednesday. If there's nothing on Tuesday, it'll come out Wednesday. Well, and we were, are gonna be recording the entire time. Yeah. So we will bring you all of the sights and sounds and of camping. Of camping. So if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos we have linked right over here. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over there. For whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Till tomorrow. Bye. Bye.